Dear all, welcome to Civil Services with Zaki and today we are going to discuss about the, one of the most significant topic in recent news. Basically it is the for the first time scientists have named a heat wave. Like the cyclone, scientists also named heat wave. So it's the world first heat wave named by any country. And as you know, it is related to our ecology and environment topic and basically these topic are most significant for the civil services examination basically civil services examination prelims 2023 so uh, basically this video is related to our pt series 2023 so as you know uh, we slightly change our uh, this video uh, basically sequence and now we don't uh, provide you the UPSC 2023 uh, question for the UPSC because we uh, uh, it's a very good news for you and your colleagues now we no provide on one question but I provide uh, five question for the UPSC so each topic uh, in each topic we provide you five questions for the civil services examination so it's a very good news so uh, because it means you can cover more of the uh, syllabus and basically uh, news uh, in this topic and uh, practice for uh, basically for the civil services examination pt 2023 so it's very very good news and uh, so that's why uh, please please subscribe our channel and now you uh, um, our viewers and you are also increasing day by day and it's uh, uh, your love and affection for me uh, so that's why please share and subscribe uh, the, uh, share this video and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because uh, as you know we provide some short video for uh, one significant topic so uh, uh, now we provide five questions so uh, let's we move forward and see what are the today's subtopic so see here number one the definition of heat wave so what is a heat wave so we can also discuss about the definition another is what is a heat wave and basically this heat wave definition as you know the heat wave is defined uh, by the several country by the several uh, uh, criteria so in india and basically our own nation so according to indian india meteorological department what is heat wave so we also discuss another is what is the criterion for the declaring a heat wave so what is the criteria in india for declaring a heat wave and basically this is a color code and all that so next next we see zoe the first named heat wave so basically uh, the first named heat wave world first named heat wave called zoe and another is the Pro Meteo Silva project basically uh, these uh, first named heat wave uh, basically uh, the initiations of the Pro Meteo Silva project and basically it is the Spanish uh, uh, project and basically uh, uh, provided by the uh, uh, some uh, non-profit organization based in the Washington so we also uh, uh, discuss uh, in uh, in this topic and also the definition according to the MF. So basically, AMED is the Spanish state uh, uh, meteorological agency. So according to this agency, what is the heat waves and how the nomenclature on, on heat wave adapted by the scientist? We also discuss. Another is category of heat wave. So category of heat wave according to the AMED means Spanish agency. Another is naming the heat wave. So, what is the process of naming these heat wave and what are the future heat wave named by these uh, criteria? And also, heat wave warning by Indian Meteorological Department. So, uh, how our India and in, in Indian context, our Indian Meteorological Department warn the public uh, in the our country. And basically, uh, our India Meteorological Department uses color code so what is this color code and 
basically these color code are very very significant as you see the past previous year question in the PT uh, many questions are asked like the color in, in, in which the color code and you use like the blue carbon and all that and what is the green hydrogen and all that so uh, color code is also one of the significant so what type of the color code and what type of the uh, warning uh, related to each color code so we also uh, discuss about this color code and another is the dangerous heat wave so how the heat waves are dangerous across the globe and for the humanity and what is the concern uh, scientist rage in the global level and basically what is the report of the world health organization and all that regarding the heat wave and as you know uh, as we change the topic uh, basically the, the, the uh, scenario and no we uh, don't provide you the question for the UPSC instead we provide five questions regarding the PT 2023 so it's called mega question for the UPSC uh, CSC PT 2000 civil services examination PT 2000 uh, 23rd so basically it is the five most probable question related to the this topic so uh, one not one question not two question it's five questions so it's most probable to uh, you can find uh, these uh, question in your 28th may exam because as you know in previous year directly 22 question asked by this video series uh, they, they are in, uh, each and every question uh, answer discussed by you so as you know after 28th may we also provide the 23rd uh, pt analysis and all that and i hope uh, about 30 plus question directly from our these video series and our uh, daily current affairs series so you can also join our uh, daily current affairs series on my apps uh, so uh, that's why uh, it's very very good news for you we provide now five question for the UPSC not one question for the UPSC and another is the answer of the previous question so basically answer of the previous question asked by me in the previous video this video so for this video answer we also provide uh, answer of this video so let's we move forward and see the context so if we see the context as the world reel under the impact of the climate change and heat waves break havoc in say <coughs> havoc in several uh, uh, countries and leading to the wildfire drying up the river and unpredictable droughts and flesh drought and all that so scientists have for the first time given the name just cyclone have named the spanish scientist heat wave has been named zoe so zoe is there so unpredictable drought so one of the my specific video especially on drought so basically it is unpredictable drought it means flesh drought so what is flesh drought and all that so if you want to know more about the flesh drought then you watch our this video this video is also so as you know uh, now you can find hundreds of video regarding the uh, ecology environment geography and all the subjects so let's we move forward and see the definition of the heat wave so if you see there is no any single uh, scientific definitions for the heat wave so basically countries with the different climates so as you know uh, some of the uh, countries in tropical so the definition of heat wave in the tropical uh, 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 tropical areas countries is in in, the, uh, in in the in the in the differ from the uh, temperate use so uh, in term to describe the period of temperature in the higher so if we see in a common uh, in a, in a, in a, in a co common concept to describe the period of temperature that higher than the local average it means if you go to the, some temperate area and the local average is 20 it, it means they raises to the 30 degree c it means heat wave so if you go to the tropical area tropical local average is 30 and go to the 40 degree and plus it means heat waves so it's depend uh, upon the country varies from the uh, temperate to the tropical areas so basically but if we see the 2022 has been 
unusually high number of heat wave across the northern hemisphere so even you uh, see the europe uh, india and all that so it's a high number of heat wave across the globe and basically in the northern hemisphere uh, so in the country including the spain portugal france iran china india and the united states so these country uh, basically faces the uh, uh, extreme heat wave in the recent year so see how and as you know we provide you the specific uh, animation to understand each and everything uh. so see here animation so heat waves across the basically uh, these uh, data taken in the July 2000, uh, 2022 and basically it, this data is taken by the NASA and basically uh, if you see uh, the heat wave across the globe uh, basically these area if you see are the northern hemisphere these are the northern hemisphere as you know so uh, it means black means more than 40 degrees so you can see here uh, uh, here uh, th these are the heat waves so basically these area are sahara desert and if you go to the here here is spain this is spain and here is the slavia so if you see the seville seville is a spanish city situated here it means if you see here 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 seville city and where the world first uh, heat wave called zoe, zoe. so uh, see here so if we see here uh, uh, see here uh, see here this is uh, july uh, day by day uh, record of the temperature uh, taken by the satellite as you know and uh, so it, it is from uh, 27th so 24th to 7, uh, 27th uh, july recorded the extreme temperature in seville and basically this is spain and spain northern uh, southern city of the spain and basically um, if you see the uh, temperature temperature is about 44.4 degrees celsius so it's so high temperature uh, uh, on July 27th, 24 to 27th July, recorded uh, continuous the heat wave. So that's why uh, scientists. Uh, so uh, this is the global map of. As you know, this type of the map you can't find anywhere in. Uh, you can search YouTube and you can't find them. So uh, basically. We provide you such type of the animation for the better understanding of the each and every topic. So that's why please share this video and tell your friends and subscribe my channel if you are new. If you are if you are uh, already subscribed, then please share this video your colleagues and friends. So let's we move forward and see what is a heat wave. It means what is a heat wave according to our India Meteorological Department. So, uh, as you, you know, we also know what is the, our Indian condition, what is the, our Indian scenario and how our India Meteorological Department defines this topic. And uh, as you know, we also uh, warn you and also uh, uh, guide you to don't divert your concentration in the street. So, such, such type of the street booklets or street notes, you please please don't use this type of the booklet because you if you want to uh, seriously uh, for the uh, basically civil services examination then you must use authentic source of the information like india meteorological department world meteorological organization un report and all that so uh, if you go to the such type of the local books and local guides you basically these local guides are not guided it's misguided so uh, that's why uh, here uh, is the definition by the india meteorological department so according to the india meteorological department uh, uh, quantitatively qualitatively if you see the qualitatively so if you see 
a heat wave is a conditions of the air temperature which become fatal to the human body so uh, uh, any temperature which become fatal for the uh, uh, human body when exposed are called basically qualitatively so qualitatively uh, basically it's called heat wave if we see the quantitatively so quantitatively it is defined as uh, based on the temperature threshold over a reason basically actual temp uh, temperature or its departure from the normal so some uh, imagine normal temperature is 30 so these temperature replaced by 40 degree or plus 40 degree it means it's uh, the heat, heat wave event occur so according to our indian meteorological department so in certain country so in india but in certain country uh, it is defined in the term of the heat index so some of the country also use the heat index or heat index basically based on the temperature and humidity so these heat index based on the temperature and the humidity we see what is the criterion of the declaring a heat wave so according to our indian meteorological india meteorological department what is the criterion for the declaring a heat wave so if we see here the heat wave considered so when uh, uh, announced by the india meteorological department it means it's considered if the maximum temperature of a station reaches 40 degrees c or more in the plain area so in plain area it uh, reached 40 degree or more then it's declared as the heat wave. in hilly area it's exceed 30 degree or more it means uh, it's heat wave so it is the criterion of the uh, declaring a heat wave by the india meteorological department so let's we move forward uh. and see the next is Zoe, the first one, and world first named heat wave. And basically, now we come to our topic. And basically, this is the Spanish. So, if we see the Spanish scientist based on the uh, name Zoe uh, on a heat wave that same temperature soaring. 112 degree fahrenheit or 44.4 degree celsius in the civile on july 24th and 27th in 2022 as we earlier uh, see in our animation okay so it's new effort to alert the public extreme temperature and warn them for the danger so dangerous of the heat waves and heat stroke and all that so due to these uh, uh, heat stroke as you know the several people died due to the heat, heat stroke in the uh, summer and basically in the northern hemisphere various country so uh, that's why it is very very significant to name for uh, in which uh, the common people easily understand the uh, zoi and lo uh, all local names it may be uh, in some coming years india and all our other country also adopted this uh, type of the formula so name the heat wave so uh, we see another thing is the pro metro project silva so if you see the zoe the first named heat wave is an effort to pro metro sevilla si project in initiatives of the adrini assessed uh, rockefeller foundation resilient center for the atlantic council and basically this is basically as rockefeller foundation resilient center of Atlantic Council is based in Washington. So it is a Washington based research center and non profit organization. And basically, a Seville is the pilot location for the project, as you know, uh, in Africa and it is Spain. And Seville is the southern city. It is. <coughs> So here is Seville. It is Mediterranean Sea. It is Africa, and it is uh, Gibraltar, uh, Gibraltar area. And uh, 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 this is Seville. If you see the map, so pilot location project. And basically, the aim of this project is to raise the public awareness of the extreme heat and to advocate to effort to reduce the danger of the heat wave. So 
how we reduce these uh, uh, danger of the heat wave and how we can adopt such thing so we can uh, uh, prevent by uh, prevent this type of the heat wave and also so uh, basically this NGO is uh, basically advocating groups and all that so that's why uh, for the common people uh, this uh, name was uh, basically uh, given by the this type of the heat waves so next we move forward and see the definition and according to the MH. So basically MH is the Spanish, uh, space, uh, sorry, Spanish uh, uh, state meteorological agency. <coughs> so the definition according to the Spanish state meteorological agency MH, the heat wave at least three consecutive days during which the maximum of 10% of the weather stations record maximum temperature above the 95th percentile of the July to August between the 1971 to 2000. So in between these about 10% of the station recorded maximum temperature and it is 95th percentile it means it's declared as the heat wave according to Spanish state uh, meteorological department or agency. So let's we see here categories of heat wave. So uh, Spanish uh, agency also categorized these heat wave. So the system sorts heat event into three tiers. So basically it is three tiers and it means uh, like the uh, cyclone category one, category two, category three. This is also uh, categorized by the tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. So uh, it's triggering certain measures of the city emergency and the disaster response plan. So the highest tier will also get named. So it means Zoe, Zoe heat waves is the highest tier which means third category or third tier. So uh, like the hurricanes and cyclone. Uh, boost the public awareness. So, uh, boost the public awareness. So, uh, such type of the heat waves are coming. So, you can prepare and you can uh, such type of the prepare and uh, can do these things and don't do these things. So, that's why uh, this is very significant. Another is <coughs> naming of the heat wave. So, what is the criteria and how these uh, are naming or nomenclature uh, by the scientist? So, if we see authority of Spain to plan alternate male and female name in the reverse alphabetical order. Reverse alphabetical order means first we use Z, then Y, then X. That's why in reverse direction from Z to A, not A to Z. So, uh, it means future heat event. So, the first five. So, first five declared by the uh, Spanish. Uh, 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 agency authorities will call Zoe, Zoe is first, Z start, Yogo, Xenia, Wilsonano and Vega. It's the five uh, in future. So Zoe is the first, it means Yago second, third, fourth and fifth. So these uh, fifth agents, uh, these are basically uh, given in the in future. No, we move forward and come to our own nation. So, how our India Meteorological Department want this type of the warning in our country? So, see here. So, basically, India Meteorological Department issue color code impact based heat warning. So, in India, uh, the uh, IMD used color code like green, red, orange, uh, yellow, etc. So basically, it's uh, a joint um, uh, basically uh, functions with the Disaster Management Authority. So National Disaster Management Authority and IMD jointly uh, want this type of the warning for the common people. So what is the color code and all that we see in the next slide. So see here, this is. So here we see color code, alert, and warning. So this is the one of the most significant topic here we discuss because uh, as you know if you see the previous year questions some type of the color code and this type of the question asked in several uh, year repeatedly two or uh, six years so uh, that's why it is very significant so see here 
green green means normal normal day and maximum temperature near normal another is C, yellow alert yellow alert means heat alert sub heat alert and it means heat wave condition at isolated pocket persist only two days so if uh, some pocket heat wave persist only uh, two days it means yellow warning it means it's you can prepare for the heat wave. so it means yellow warning another is orange alert orange alert means severs heat alert for the day it means uh, uh, it's provide two conditions number one sever heat waves conditions persist for two days it means two days or it means if not severs it means heat wave persist for four days so if not sever but uh, heat wave persist four days it's also included in the orange orange another is and final alert is according to imd is red alert red alert means extreme heat alert for the day so it means extreme heat alert it means some of the vulnerable people and uh, some of the manual labor are maybe uh, uh, advised to stay in the home and all that so uh, it means severs heat wave persist for more than two days here see more than two days uh, here is only two days so only two days orange alert more than two days red alert it means also the total number of heat waves uh, exceeding the six days so here four days it means orange alert exceeding six days or more it means red alert so it is the color uh, basically a uh, impact based color code by the indian meteorological department so it is very significant so next we move forward and see another thing dangerous heat waves so these heat waves are one of the most dangerous uh, uh, climate phenomenon in, uh, in in recent year basically recent year increased due to the global warming and climate change so see here heat wave can be dangerous especially vulnerable people's populations older individual and people who do manual labor outdoor so if you see the uh, data from the world health organization basically calculated in 2018 between 2000 and 2016 the number of people exposed extreme heat year increased by 125 million and also according to the world health organization from 1998 to 2017 more than 166,000 people died due to the heat so these heat waves are so dangerous If we see, including in which include 70,000 died during the 2003 heat waves all in Europe. So, as you know, 2003 heat wave is the one of the most dangerous heat waves in Europe, and in which about 70,000 people died died due to this heat wave. So that's why uh, scientists naming these heat wave to uh, alert the common people, aware the common people for the climate change, global warming and all that. So if you want to more about the climate change, global warming, so you can find various video on our channel. So that's why you subscribe our channel and tell your friends. And next, next for the question for the UPSC and basically it is the mega, means five question. So see here mega question for the UPSC CSC 2023 so five most probable question related to this topic so please go to the description box below and uh, for these five question and with detail answer so uh, go description box and see these all five question and uh, please answer this question because these questions are one of the most significant and most probable question for your PT 2023rd. As you know, in previous year, directly 22 questions. So 22 questions uh, directly, but uh, as you know, we provide you one video, one question. But now we provide one video, five questions. So that's uh, one of the uh, 
most significant uh, for the you if you are uh, if you are uh, not prepared uh, 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 not uh, appearing in this year so it's also uh, beneficial for the uh, a student who are willing to prepare in 2024 2025 or 2020 2026 so that's why this is very very significant so uh, next we move forward and see answer of the previous question answer of the previous question it means asked by previous video this video so let's uh, see answer of the previous question so consider the following uh, statement the oldest mineral on earth found on the canadian seals is wrong because it's found in the jack hills australia zircon 4.4 billion year old so statement one is wrong about 70 percent of the earth earth crust formed three billion year ago yes it's right so number one is wrong two is right another the rock around Australia Jack Hills are called Narrier Terrain. Yes, it's right. And near Jack Hills found these zircon. As you know, zircon is the mineral, oldest mineral on the earth. Another is the gravity data used for measuring the earth crust. It's also right. So third is also right, fourth is also right. Because these gravity data taken by the satellite used for measuring of the earth crust because earth crust is not uniformly around the globe uh, it's differ from place to place so see here which of the above statement is are correct one three and four one is wrong so a is wrong two three four yes right another is one two three one is wrong so on all of them so your answer is b so, so that's all about today's topic the world first heat wave name and this heat wave is zoe so remember all that so uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel tell your friends and colleagues and uh, for more questions and as you know we provide you five questions so go to the description box answer these questions and check your strength and all that so uh, thanks for watching this video thanks thanks a lot